I've had it with this thing. She still mows, but man, does she got problems. And now I just started mowing and the cable snapped going to the mower deck. What just happened? You broke the mower. <laughs> Officially, 100% broke. It's broke, yeah, but what did what, what did we do? We spent money we didn't have <laughs> on another fancy toy. Well, it's not a toy, it's useful. It's, it's a necessity where we live. We got our mower a year early. It's not the big one with the bucket. We'll show you it yet. It's a zero point turn mower. Uh, we got it from Keystone Agrimotive here, the Kubota dealership in uh, Steinbach. Wasn't really expecting to do this, but... We got a Cub Cadet, and Cub Cadet. I can use it. Yeah, and it's very simple to use. It's going to be very nice, and uh, it's got a much wider deck as well. Uh, 54 inch, right? I think it's 54. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You said 56, I say 54. We'll see who's right when we get back here. Yeah, it up. we got to go get Dad's trailer and come back here so we can take it home and use it tonight yet. Here we go. We got her home. She didn't fly off the trailer. Welcome home, Cubby. I named her. Cubby? That's a good name. Cub Cadet. Cubby. Cub Cadet. Cubby. I like naming things. It's a thing. I like mowing things. Me too, actually. I can't wait to learn. I always use the push mower for the front lawn. It takes me a couple hours each time. It's good exercise, but it's going to be nice to be able to do the rest of the lawn too for Josh so he doesn't spend all of his time mowing when he's at home. Don't worry, I'll leave some for you though. I hope so. I'm going to mow it again then. Didn't do it short enough. <laughs> Inch lower. There she is. Cubby in all her glory. Made it. And no, no, first the RPM. Oh, wait, what? Oh, to choke. choke. Yeah. Okay. And then bringing the RPM down. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Brett, <laughs> hold them in the center. <laughs> Look at her go! Woo! <laughs> Guys, it's okay. It's okay. That's what's all the shouting! That's what's all the shouting! <laughs> It was good. I think it's pretty cool. Now this, this is mowing. This thing is amazing. Oh, wow. It cuts such a wide area. So I finished, oops. I pretty much finished the entire yard already. Everything in the time it took to do like one section with the other mower. And I'm not even tired because I don't have to constantly be shifting gears and shifting gears and clutching and clutching and working with the mower and struggling with it. No, this is so simple to use. I was hoping that that other mower would last another year yet. I wasn't really ready to buy a new mower this year, but I'm glad we did now. Like, wow. This was a great investment. This was a great investment. This will be put to great use here. Like, it's already all dirty. <laughs> it's already all dirty and there's a lot of pollen that's spread from the trees with the flowers so everything's covered in a layer of that pollen still right that's why i'm wearing my mask and uh you always want to be wearing your glasses too because this thing here sure kicks up a good dust storm yep. man i need both hands to drive it though so i can't drive and film with you guys so 
if I can find a place to put you guys. Maybe on that log over there? Let's try that. I am happy with this thing. Happy. So it's a it's a Cub Cadet, we told you, right? The Cub Cadet. We bought it at the Kubota dealership. I guess uh, it's owned by them. Apparently, we're calling her Cubby. So, Everybody, meet the newest member of the family. Cubby. We love her very much. Just gonna see if I can get you guys in a decent position here to watch me. Okay, you guys, don't fall, okay? You're just balancing there. Don't fall. You're probably gonna fall, aren't you? Figures. Ooh, this thing's all dirty. Such a shame. Man. That is... Yep. You guys. You guys. What are you doing down there? Can I lean you up against something? Can I? This is very difficult to do, okay? There we go. How's that? Hang on. My butt wet. It was raining before and I sat on a wet seat, okay? What? How do I turn this thing on now? I don't want to turn it on. Oh, yeah. Choke it. you guys are wondering how the pond is doing since we put that aeration system in it seems to be doing all right i mean i think it looks a lot clearer today doesn't it, it looks a lot cleaner i think it looks pretty good two of them going off over there yet not quite in the center of the pond i know but it's as far out as i could get them uh, next week we're going to be pumping more water in here and seeing if we can get a swimming hole out of this thing or not I mean, that water's pretty clear already. If it was just deeper and higher, like well, yeah, I would definitely go for a swim in there already. I think that uh, those things have been doing wonders. They've been doing awesome things. I might have to get some extended or some longer weighted hose to go from our uh, aeration pump over there to make it go further. Put like maybe one over here and one over there instead of there and there. But for the most part, it sounds like the frogs are happy about it. I'm happy with it. I think it's going really well. I think it's, I think it's doing, doing what it's supposed to do. I mean, I thought it would be a little bit more. I thought I was expecting a bit more, but I mean, I'll take it. It is making it better already. And some more good news. The beavers have not come back. But that uh, rushing water that came through here and washed out a bu bunch of our bank here last year, it also created us a nice beach on this side here. Like, look at that. Nice beach right into the creek. Might not even need to go swimming in there. We're going to go swimming right here. Huh. Nature, you know? Nature. Man, there's more. I'm telling you. I can't... Oh, I can't tell you how awesome it is enough. Look at this. This looks like a golf course. I have a golf course now. It's amazing. That's amazing. I actually went in to buy a Kubota, but they sold us on the Cub Cadet. Same dealership. Uh, I guess Kubota owns Cub Cadet or they work together. I don't know. Uh, this was a few hundred dollars cheaper and it was also a lot more rugged. Uh, bigger tires, stronger frame. Look how dirty it looks already. Yikes. Just one mo. But I'm serious. Like, I'm done. I'm done. I got this done. I started at like 7 o'clock. The sun's not even... I mean, it's summertime, so it's probably right now like 9.30. Probably 9.30. 7 to 9.30. Two and a half hours. Done. It used to take like 4 to 5, if not more.
cool. Very cool. So uh, I'd recommend it. I mean, it's been working great for us so far. I mean, we've only I've only mowed the lawn once with it, but it is a machine that uh, Britt can drive as well. So when she uh, she usually takes care of the that front yard right in front of the house, she usually mows that by hand. But now, if she wants to, she can use this thing because this thing is super easy to drive. So. That'll be nice for her as well. Unless if she wants the exercise from the push mower. That's usually why she push mows it, because she wants to get the exercise. But at least she has the option of driving this now, right? Because the other one was a little too difficult. Uh, she didn't really want to drive that one, and I didn't really want to have her. The other one was a little bit dangerous. I didn't really want her to drive it either. So, yeah, this stung a little bit. This hurt a little bit, but it we, we needed it. Like, look at this. If I don't mow this, it turns into long, long grass. Like when we bought this property, this was all long, like waist high grass. And that invites in all the garter snakes, which aren't poisonous, but it invites in snakes. It, it invites in mice. Uh, the bears were coming right up to our uh, property up there, up to the house. Uh, all kinds of coyotes were coming really close to the house. So, and the beavers, the beavers have, oh, look, we got a visitor. Hey, Diesel, what's going on, man? Talking about beavers. How you doing, bud? I'm not sure about that thing you're on yet, man. I don't know if I like it. I'm going back to mom. <laughs> but, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the beavers, they don't come up here anymore because it's too open. They usually go to the other side, so I'd love to be able to work on that. But, yeah, had to be done and here we are. Oh, I've got another tick. Oh, that's not a tick, that's a bug. Lots of ticks out here. Man, lots of wood. And lots of mosquitoes. I gotta keep moving. So this front yard here is the yard that Britt always takes care of. And she usually does it, like I was saying in uh, yesterday's clip there, same video, different day. Uh, she does it by push more. She likes to get the exercise, but now she has the option of using the tractor if she wants to. Just the other tractor, it, it, was, a, it was a killing machine. There was a... Uh, it was a safety hazard. <laughs> I didn't want her driving it because I didn't even want to drive it myself. But I know the yard's a big mess. For today, my goal is to, uh, we got all of these burn piles all over the place. We want to get them burnt because uh, it's a beautiful day today. There's no burn bans in effect and it's a calm day. It's not very windy. So I think we can get that done. That'll be in tomorrow's video. I'm just finishing up the video from the tractor. Uh, really excited to make a little bit of an upgrade and the next day here looks like a golf course almost and look at these trees just growing like crazy this guy's new he only started growing last year and remember this is our little guy he was the first one we decided to start letting these trees grow that were naturally growing here on our lower yard and uh because we want to get more shade in here in a little picnic area maybe diesel that's not very nice that's our friend he's mine that one's mine Anyways, but this was the first one. Remember, look how big it is already. Just, just about as tall as me. Yes, it is as tall as me, pretty much. These things grow like crazy. You can see all the green, the green stems. That's new. That's what grew this year already, and it'll probably grow about a foot and a half, at least. And then it turns into trees like this eventually. And then once they're full grown, they turn into trees like that. Well, yeah, I'm very happy um, with the yard. I'll show you the pond one more time today. Uh, I think I blew too many grass clippings in there yesterday. And it dirtied the water a little bit. Shouldn't have done that. Learned my lesson. But, uh... It's doing all right, I mean... It's doing all right. I'm gonna be at home now for a few days too because that truck window is getting delayed. The repairs are getting delayed. So I'll talk about that in tomorrow's video. I just wanted to close this video up for you and say that we're gonna be at home for a little while yet, unfortunately, but I'll explain it all tomorrow. So if you tune in then, you can hang out a little bit more. Thanks for hanging out today. I know there's no trucking in today's video or tomorrow's video, but glad you're here with us anyways and appreciate the view. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me where you're from. I'll talk to you tomorrow.